Mimi wa Kenya kwanza made promises to Kenyans. On our part, we made it clear that they would realize the promises we made without increasing tax burden on Kenyans. It remains our position that Kenyans cannot afford and should not be asked to pay extra taxes for the older regime to realize the outlandish and unrealistic, unrealistic promises it is pursuing. We wish to remind the older regime that we have been here before. When NAC took over power in 2003, the economy was worse off than what Uda has inherited from Jubilee. But we were able to put the country back on track, including free primary education, without raising taxes. The Grand Coalition government picked up from the ashes of post-election violence and rebuilt the economy, including massive infrastructure, without raising taxes. Uda must immediately shelve any thoughts of raising taxes on suffering Kenyans. Instead, order must improve revenue collection at all collection points like airports, customs points, registration of persons, VAT, and so on. It must stop diversion of revenue, reform institutions like the KRA, NSSF, NHIF, and government procurement. Deducting more money from workers and throwing it at the corrupt and mismanaged institutions like the NSSF and the NHIF won't solve any problem. Above all, the government must fight and be seen to be fighting corruption. Those measures will be sufficient to raise money to finance the country without raising taxes. We will resist any attempt by the government to unilaterally raise taxes to finance corruption. End of statement. Kwanza Mwana hapa tuko hapa kama viongozi wa azimio la umoja wa One Kenya. Mwana hapa mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka, mheshimiwa Martha Karua, na washingiwa wengine tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Eugene Wamalo ambaye kwa mara ya kwanza anashiriki katika mikutano yetu kama mwanachama ametoka kwa serikali sasa. <laughs> Karibu katika kiwanja upinzani. Vile vile mmeona mheshimiwa me, Junaid Mohamed hapa, Dr. Mukhisa Kitui na wabunge wengi tuko nao hapa pamoja na um, minority leader in the National Assembly Honorable Pia Wandai. Tuko hapa kwanza ku kana certificate kwa mheshimiwa wa fula wa munyinyi kama mgombea uh, kiti cha usenator wa county la Bungoma yeye ndiye atabeba bendera ya azimio katika hiyo uh, by election ambayo inakuja kule Bungoma najua nyinyi nyote mnajua mheshimiwa wa munyinyi amekuwa mwana bunge kwa miaka mirefu zaidi bunge wa Kandui constituency kule Bungoma na uwezo wake na kila kitu kinajulikana tuna hakika ya kwamba mheshimiwa eh, wa fula wa Munyinyi atabeba bandera ya azimio vizuri katika hiyo kinyang'anyiro ya kiti ya Bungoma na mtakaye kila laheri pili tumeongea juu ya mambo ya maafa ili uwaji kinyama ya wakenya tumesema tunajua ati kuna wale wahindi ambaye inasemekana 
walishikwa wali na baadaye wakatoweka na wajaonekana mpaka leo kile kile walikuwa nafanya hapa hakuna mtu anajua ijapokuwa wale ambayo waliwaleta hapa lakini tumesema wao ni binadamu kama wanawatamu wengine na sisi tutatetea haki yao ya, ya maisha na sisi tungependa uchunguzi yote ifanyike ili ijulikane wako wapi ikiwa kama hayuko ni nani ambayo aliwachukua lakini vile vile tumesema hatutaki kusema ati uchunguzi naishia hapo tumelaani vikali yale ya, yale ambayo yanaendelea wakati huu ya kulenga mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa ni DCI bwana bwana Kinoti ambaye sasa lawama yote inalenga kwake hata uh, DPP ambaye yeye mwenyewe ndiye alikuwa kila mara anakataa kushtaki watu ati hakuna ushahidi ya kutosha sasa kujitokeza na kusema yana laumu wa DCI ye na DCI hajapewa nafasi ya kujibu tunaona kama yale yote ambayo yanafanyika wakati huu ni kama ile kangaroo hakuna ukweli wote ndani yake tumesema kuna wakenya wengi ambayo wamepotea wengine wamewaa kinyama wakati huu wale ambayo wengine walikuwa wametekwa nyara wengine mmoja alitekwa nyara kule Eldoret mwili yake kapatikana huko upande wa Savo na wengine yote mimi tumeyataja ndani ya hiyo statement tumesema tunataka uchunguzi ifanyike ijulikane ni akina nani walihusika tumangoja yule watu kama Jacob Juma ambaye alipigwa kinyama akawawa hapo hapo